Hey everyone. So <clears throat> I have a little bit of time to spare before I get to Heather's party and actually I had a lot of time to spare. I got here really early. I got here like two hours early um, because of the time difference from where I live and her party and whatever. I got here early but that was okay because I'm like that's fine. I haven't had dinner yet so I'm gonna go have dinner. So stopped at Applebee's and had dinner. And so what I wanted to do this video about and ask you guys is how many of you feel that you overthink a blitz? Overthink it. Like you put too much thought into when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, what you're going to say, what they're going to say, how you're going to end it, and what the follow-up is going to be. How many of you put so much stress on yourself? If so, raise your hand below. Okay? Like raise your hand. We should probably see a lot of hands raised at the bottom. Well, I just want to give you guys an example of how this particular situation just went down for me, okay? So I've got two hours to spare. I'm going to go have dinner. And I've got a couple of things I can kind of catch up on. While I'm waiting, I have a, I had um, two leadership calls to listen to because I got so busy yesterday. Uh, and today I missed a couple of them. And I don't like to miss calls. So I listened to a few calls while I was at dinner. But while I was at dinner, I pulled out my party stuff because I wanted to make sure that I got everything in line and ready for the party. And then I just want to take notes when I listen to the leadership call. So sitting on the table was the um, product pamphlet. This is sitting there on the table. And not my server, but another server came by and she stops immediately. And she goes, does that really work? I was like, well, of course it works. Why wouldn't it? And she's like, well, I know somebody who does this. She said, it's actually her cousin does this out in Texas. But she's never had an opportunity to try it yet. But she's really, really intrigued. And so we're talking and I'm just sharing with her a little bit about the company and the products. She's like, oh, well, I didn't know that much. My cousin didn't tell me all that. Well, we, she asks me for my card. I give her my card, even though she knows, you know, her cousin does it. <clears throat> Again, I'm not overthinking it. Um, if she hasn't reached out to her cousin, she's not going to reach out to me. But then I, um, I, I started talking to um, my, well, actually, back up. She was asking about... Um, making money this this girl she was asking about making money so I pulled out my party bag because I always keep it in my purse I pulled out showed her the income chart and I showed her the potentials and then my waitress stopped and she's like what's going on here and so we're looking at it and Brittany was just like wow that's really really impressive do you have a card so I gave her my card anyways didn't even think anything else of it continued on with my leadership calls and um, eating my steak my good steak and then I got to thinking about it I'm like you know what her cousin lives in Texas I live two hours from her. The least I could do is do a party for her, um, show her what the products we have, maybe find a need for her, and then she can get a hold of her cousin to become a customer if that's what she chooses to do. But at least I can introduce it to her, coach her the right way, make some wrap cash, and we'll see what happens from there. So I called Brittany over, and I, and I, and I said just that thing to her. I said, hey, I'm two hours from you. Your, your cousin is clear out in Texas. What do you think? Would you like to do a wrap party so that you can get your wrap for free and actually try it out? Her eyes about bugged out of her head. She's like, are you serious? I said, yeah. Why don't you? I said, do you think that in December, because there's nothing else to do in December, do you think you can get like four friends together that want to hang out with you for about an hour and get their skinny on? And she's like, yeah, I actually think I do. So I took down one. I said, okay, well, give me your phone number because I'm going to call you. When are you off work? She goes, I don't work tomorrow. And then, then I said, well... Do you have a Facebook account? And she said, yeah. I said, how about we follow each other on Facebook? That way, if something happens or I lose this paper, I can at least reach out to you. And she said, that's perfect. So she friended me on Facebook. She grabbed my phone, friended herself on Facebook. She wrote down her first and last name plus her phone number for me. And I told her that I'm going to reach out to her tomorrow. I'm going to give her a couple of dates in the month of December because November's full. I have nothing left available for this month. So I'm going to get some, give her some dates for December and then we're going to have a wrap party in December. And I told her, I was like, girl, what else is there to do? And she's like, right. Nobody wants to go out and do anything, but everyone would want to hang out in their, in their sweats and yoga pants and just chill on the couch for an hour. So she's super excited. And I just went in to have dinner. So when it comes to you guys blitzing, just be relaxed. Um, just go with the flow. And if you don't um, bring it up the first time around, don't hesitate to bring them back over because I flagged her down. I, Brittany wasn't even my waitress. And I waved her down and I told her, I was like, come here, come here, come here. And then that's when I presented the party option to her. So if, if, if the first time you talk to them or have the interaction, it doesn't happen, don't be afraid to try it again or do it again. 
And just so you know, my waitress wanted absolutely nothing to do with it. She like, like this, you know what I mean? Like nose up in the air to it. She's going to school. She's about to graduate. She's going to have her bachelor's degree or her master's degree in some kind of sociology thing. And I was like, oh, so you have a lot of debt then, right? Stopped her in her tracks, you guys, because she was like being so condescending about what I did and that she doesn't have a need for what I do because she's got a college degree. Good for you. Good for you for having a college degree. But good for me for not having debt. So I was just like, oh, so you got a lot of debt from that. So that kind of stopped her in her tracks, but it wasn't for her and that's okay. It wasn't my waitress. It just happened to be the waitress that was taking care of tables next to me. So when it comes to blitzing, just first of all, relax, be yourself, be real, and just have a conversation with people because you will get far further with having a conversation with someone than you will by forcing it. Um, And that's just my tip to you guys about blitzing. Um, When you're out and about, don't overthink it. Just be relaxed and, and just have fun with it. And don't hesitate to call them back. Don't hesitate to ask them to be your friend on Facebook. And don't be shy to ask them for their phone number. Because she is a mom of two. Um, she's got a four-year-old and a 10-month-old. So she's super busy right now. And she's working a lot of hours at Applebee's. So she's going to be super busy. And she's going to forget about me and our interaction most likely. So you know what? I'm going to text her tomorrow. And I'm going to call her tomorrow. I'm going to remind her that we met. I'm going to bring up her kids' names. And... I'm going to send her three dates for December and we're going to get her party on the books. So that is just kind of like the sandy tip of the day is just relax. Now, how many of you are going to be more comfortable getting out there and blitzing? A lot more, right? Like just take it easy and relax and be you. Don't force it because it doesn't need to be forced. It will come natural when you are natural. Okay. All right. I'm going to go off and do Heather's launch party and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.